<laughs> Questions through the microphone, please. Pep, um, Pep, hi. Uh, in your TV interviews, you, you said that this was one of the most special days in your life. Can you explain why that's the case? Yeah, good evening. Why? Because uh, we, we lived the, the tough two, two days. So after being out for the Champions League, our mood and our what happened in Monaco and in the first half, so we were what uh, we are in the second half again and again and again, how misses, how many chances we miss, uh, was tough. And playing against team like Liverpool, where was all week preparing that game and how they fight until the last moment, how they put absolutely everything what they had in the pitch. And uh, the performance, that why? But sometimes you play important games, but uh, you are just focused on that and your mood is okay and you're... We were sad. And uh, that's why I'm so, so happy. It's one of the days when I am proud the most being coach and being coach of that guys. And uh, more than ever, I want to help that club to, if I am able, because I, am, I don't know if I will be able to do that, but I am, I am willing to help that club to, if they want to stay with me, to, to put it in the next years to be there in the next step forward. Pep, you, you say you want to spend many years here. Does that mean that you want to stop beyond the three years that you're currently contracted to to experience things like this? No, not, it's not time. In, in football, two years and two months, they are a lot, a lot of time. So thinking about a lot of turn, but of course I came here for three years. I want to stay that three years. I want to the next season play better. Uh, n not not better because in many many cases we don't play bad so so it happened the same so they create chances for Liverpool because more for example than than Monaco but uh, we create more than them and again a clear clear chances and when that's happened it's so tough so we don't score goals so our problem was that and and uh, we we have the chances. The clear chances in front of the goalkeeper, but we do not score goals, and, and and that's why you cannot compete in the top teams. So, to achieve the big target, so you have to to be that clinical, to be to score goals. And uh, when you don't create absolutely anything, so so okay, so we have to improve. But uh, of course we have to improve. But the chances is always there. It's not today. It's a Chelsea game, a Tottenham game, it's a Stoke City, even the last one when the first half was good, but the second half we had enough to win the game. So when that's happened, it's always so more complicated. And, uh, and I thought a lot of times what I can do to help my players to score goals, but it's not, it's, for me it's not easy. And uh, that is once again what happened. So, But at, at the end we... we we were again what we are. So in Monaco was the second half, but the first half we didn't play like uh, like we are, and that's why we we are out. But in Champions League, when you can sit 45 minutes in 118, is too much. Pep, you've talked time and again this season about boxes, how important the boxes are. Um, obviously, defensively, you can you can create systems to to maybe be tighter at the back, and I think we've seen that probably more so in recent weeks. Um, but what can you do in attack to make people actually score goals? Because you create an unbelievable amount of chances and mm. you just keep missing chances time and again. No, listen, it's so simple like that. When I'm talking defence and attack, I'm going to, to, to explain the reason why. So when you, you play with Yaya Toure alone there, with Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, and two guys for 19 years old like a wingers and Sergio Aguero, you're playing with five guys with the mentality to attack. And that guy can sustain the one pressure to pressure, but 90 meters, one pressure to pressure, stay five, six minutes or three minutes or one possession from the Liverpool, the two minutes. They are not created for that. So they are created to, to attack. And that's why we do that to create more chances. And when you are cleaning and score goals, after that, the game is over in our hands, you have more control. But you do that to create, you don't score goals. When they do defend, you defend other type of players. 
It's not the humble. You, you change now. We're attacking our defense. Now we're attacking our defense. No, it's not like this. So when after that, what happened when you play against Coutinho, Firmino, uh, Mane, and uh, Lalana, top players, Wijnaldum, the physical, you need the players with that physical. But we don't have. But okay, I can put that players, player more physical. But after we're going to create that chances. Now we're going to create. We're going to stay there and maybe the counter attack. But I don't like that. I like to be there to try attack as much as possible. But the quality of the play is like this. So how you de we defend, for example, the f first or second goal in Monaco is because it's about our quality. But the problem, we know that, we accept that, but we have to create. In Monaco, we didn't create in the first half. We did it in the second half. And within the second half, in just 50, 20 minutes, in just 50, 20 minutes, we create five chances in front of the goal. And no, few teams, eh? few, few, few teams, maybe Barcelona. Few teams can do that in just 50, 20 minutes, create that. But you have to score. But you have to score, they are going to attack, because in the top level, Chelsea, Tottenham, Champions League games, Manchester United, oh, they are good. To players and that you have to that physical, so that is the balance. So it happened similar, quite similar in Barcelona. We play with a lot of offensive play. We arrive, we score a goal, man. In the sky, we score a goal. And when that's happened, after you have more control, now it doesn't matter. You're physically, and it was, I think, my point of view. Maybe I'm wrong because always you make analysis like a journalist. I make analysis like a, like a manager, and that is my point of view. But I like to play with. I like to see Silva and Kevin and the players with Stalin. I like to see Sané and, and, and these kind of players. I, like. I would like to see, to have Gundogan now, you know, put a lot of minutes with Kevin De Bruyne and Silva in his hands. I would like to fight Gabriel Jesus. We didn't buy another striker because Gabriel Jesus, we bought, but didn't come in December. So we lost three months or four months, important months. But arrived. His impact, his impact was. Today I can imagine the game in the last minutes when we're in the game with Sergio. Both there. Wow. So Liverpool can suffer. Okay? But after three weeks, they are out. And after you have Sergio. And the other three guys is 20, 19 years old, 20 years old, 21 years old. So you have to compete in all the teams in Europe, in the Premier League, with the old prestigious and good teams they are, with that guys. And we, we are doing that. We are doing that. That's why, what I said before, I'm happy. Because I know that the circumstances that, that especially that in the moment we have. Can you coach them to finish better? Because against Monaco... In my career, I was a football player. 11 years play. I scored 11 goals. One goal a year. So can you imagine how an advice can say to Sergio and the other guys to score goals? I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. I think the managers can, you know, can... The defensive, the high pressing, the build up, the likes and... Every manager has his own things, but the boxes, guys, is the boxes. The boxes is the boxes. How you defend one cross is the quality because you are good in the header. When you score a goal, because you have the talent. So, and, and maybe right one day we have four chances. For example, Crystal Palace and and, and Borley, I remember we played disaster. We arrived two times to score goals. Can you explain it to me? No, they didn't deserve to win. <laughs> we won. So, but I, I want to do is, is try more and more, ensure more amount of chances and chances, chance. maybe one day we'll be open. Because I'm not going to doubt about the quality of Sergio scoring goals. <laughs> no, he's his talent. He has scored a lot of goals in all his career. But we don't score goals. And when that's happened, it's so difficult. Pep, you've talked a lot about your attack. Could you just say what you think about John Stone's performance today, he's been criticised a lot this season, but he seemed to play very well. You know, John Stone had more personality than all of us here to wear in this room. More balls than everyone here, guys. So, and I like that place. I love. With under pressure, the people criticise him, the people say, well, everyone, he went there and play again, and when I play, when we talk, when we talk. So I am delighted to have John. With all his huge and amount of mistakes they have, I love him. I love this kind of guys with this personality. Because it's not easy to play central defender with this, uh, this, uh, with this manager. It's not easy. All the managers defend there, headache, long balls, channel, channel. They have to defend 40 meters behind and make a build up. So it's not easy. That's why I admire a lot my central defenders. Nico, Cola. And of course, uh, Winnie was uh, injured a lot of time, and, and especially John.
Pep, you changed the system in the middle of the second half. Was it key to get a goal? With the other system, we create more chances than the, <laughs> the change the system. So they play 4-3-3, sometimes a 4-4-2 in diamond is a good system to more more high pressing. I know with that system the fullbacks go attack more, but we want more presence in the middle. We control more chance, David or Roger, Sané, or more there. So when the crosses with Kevin, more more people there. And that was the reason why, because it was 1-0 down. Okay, so question in Spanish, please. <clears throat> Hola Pep, uh, sé que t'han preguntat eh? uh, en anglès, però una mica diguem quines són les, les sensacions que tens ara venint de la setmana que ha venido de Monaco i d'un dels moments potser més complicats que ha venido de la temporada i què transmet l'equip quan ha fet aquest partit? Quan tots els equips que estan fora de Champions el seu, o un partit dolent de Champions el partit següent sempre és molt complicat i nosaltres seríem el Liverpool i, i no podíem fallar i no han fallat perquè no hem fallat i no hem guanyat, no hem fallat. Com ens hem comportat ha sigut de xapó, de xapó. Estic uh, molt orgullós del de, de que han fet avui. M'hauria preferit guanyar, però no ha sigut possible. Um, how do you feel after uh, today's result? Well, all the teams that they are knocked out uh, of the Champions League, the next game is always difficult. We had to face Liverpool. Uh, we knew we couldn't fail and we didn't fail. I'm so proud of my players. Of course, I'd rather had to win today, but we couldn't. But I'm really, really proud of my team. Hola. Eh, ¿Me puede repetir este espectáculo en castellano? Eh, no. Eh, la pregunta es... Eh, el resumen del partido es... ¿Se puede hacer algo más para ganar un partido de lo que ha hecho y su equipo? Sí, hacer goles. Uh, Liverpool también ha tenido ocasiones de gol porque es un equipo que es, le va perfecto nuestra forma de jugar. Liverpool tiene problemas cuando se meten 11 jugadores en su área, cuando tú atacas, uh, ellos crean mucho espacio con Mané, con Firmino, con La Lana, con, uh, con Coutinho, con Klein, con Milner. Son, son jugadores que tienen uh, a la contra, les va perfecto, uh, pero... Como veníamos, lo hicimos todo. Uh, y estoy. Me hubiera gustado ganar antes de irme de estos unos días de vacaciones, pero. Pero son esos días que estoy muy contento, no sé por qué. Estoy muy, muy satisfecho de lo que hemos hecho. Nos ha faltado el gol, como tantas, tantas otras veces. Esperemos en el futuro arreglarlo. Could you do more than you did today? Uh to to win uh well we need to score more goals uh, of course liverpool they created their chances uh we are perfect for them to create chances uh they create a lot of spaces they take advantage of the counter attacks with firmino with lalana with coutinho we did everything we could of course i'd rather have won before the international break but um i don't know why but i'm really really happy and really satisfied today and uh but we need just to score more goals Cheers, guys. That's <clears throat>